is Rebecca Ziegler and my dear friend, Dr. Martha Lucas, and welcome to another episode of Your At-Home Medicine Bowl. Rebecca and I work with people who've experienced trauma. We help them unravel the energetic patterns of that. And when the pandemic started, we do that in person, obviously, but when the pandemic started, we realized that we can also help people remotely. So that was one of the reasons we started your at-home medicine bowl to give you some insight and some help with some tools to use at home. Yes, and with that said, this morning we were we have been sharing before this uh, video about uh, sharing. Literally, we were sharing about sharing and the impact it has on the amygdala. And Dr. Martha will share a little more about the amygdala. Well, when, when we share and just share, just, hey, I just had this thing happen, I need to talk with you for a few minutes, not even really asking for feedback, just, hey, I need to share something with you, our amygdala, our physical brain actually calms down. Yes, and we are talking about that part of us that when we suppress that it holds in and in that holding in we become tighter and more constricted and i'm a chinese medicine practitioner and in chinese medicine we call that stagnation and the masters of chinese medicine the doctors who started this medicine thousands of years ago used to say all physical disease is caused by emotional stress and emotional stagnation because it's kind of like your sink has a drain, right? And as long as the drain is clear, everything flows really well. But if the drain gets clogged, what happens? More and more and more and more water gets stuck in there and then eventually it's gonna overflow and ruin your floor and your counters. Well, that's the same thing that can happen with our body. When we stagnate our emotional energy, our feelings, when we hold them in too long, we are going to start getting headaches, insomnia, or some other physical problems. So we wanted to talk today about the importance of finding someone you can share with, someone you trust, and just be able to speak your truth. Yes, a safe place. And another analogy is like a garden hose where if you turn on the faucet and it comes out full blast, all of this water is rushing out, all of this energy is rushing out. But if you take your foot and press it down on the hose, it, it holds it back. So none of that movement can happen. And it, that is the very same experience we have with holding in emotion, holding in, suppressing getting tighter, getting more constricted. And so when you take your foot off that hose, the water just comes rushing out. And that is what happens when we begin to express. We're with someone who's safe and we're able to express. And then from that expression is creativity. And creativity happens in so many ways. Well, and think about the effort it takes to suppress. Like, Rebecca's example of putting your foot on the hose, or even if you hold the hose together and crimp it, that takes a lot of energy to stop that flow, which sounds a little silly, doesn't it? Like, why would I stop the flow? Well, there are a lot of reasons we stop the flow. Like, sometimes I'll maybe feel like I need to call Rebecca and share, but I feel like I'm whining. Am I whining again? Am I making you, you know, on the other end want me to go, no, get over that. Who taught you that? You are allowed to express your feelings. You need to. You need to share when something is bothering you. Yes. And creativity is not limited to the professions. It's not limited to those that sing arias or those who paint grand, grand, uh, uh, grand, uh, uh, pictures of, of with oils and watercolors and so on. It can be sitting down at, even, even at, at, at the ground and taking a stick and drawing something, even if it's a line, or if it's playing with your children or your grandchildren, or perhaps you don't have any of those and it's running, running full speed, or maybe it's imagining that you could run full speed, or perhaps it's swimming or hiking. 
or whatever it is that brings expression. Because we were born to flow and express and be creative. So life is creativity. Every day is a new beginning to create something for yourself. Even if you're having a bad day, you, again, if you can share with someone, move your energy, it will give you the opportunity to relax, to relax your body. Like daydreaming is self-hypnosis, right? Think of all the creativity that goes on when you daydream. And you don't even know you're doing it. You do it many, many times a day. But you, it's, it's another way that our body automatically allows us to create. Yes, it's, it's we are self-regulating. And when we are speaking with someone that we know cares, and listens with an open heart that calms our amygdala down. And then we begin to see and experience life in a different way. So if you feel like you need a compassionate person, someone who can listen to you in a creative way and be confidential, we are available for that. Um, you can reach me at Dr. M. Lucas at acupuncturewoman.com, D R M L U C A S at acupuncturewoman.com. And you can reach me at Rebecca Z, R E B E Z C A H Z at Comcast.net. That's R E B E C A H Z at Comcast.net. And my background is structural yoga therapy trauma-sensitive yoga, and cranial sacral therapy. So we're available out there in the world for you, uh, especially now people have a lot of the need to share your frustration and, and sometimes your fear. So we would like to be there for you, but also we have your at-home medicine bowl to give you some tools to use at home. Yes, yes. Today's tool, sharing. Today's tool is sharing. And with that said, this closes our medicine bowl for today. So please placing your left hand on your heart and your right hand on the top of the left. And just press in gently. Feel your beating heart. And repeat after me, please. With great respect and love. With great respect and love. I honor my heart. I honor my heart, my inner teacher, my inner teacher. And with that honoring of your own most sacred heart, you turn that out and you share that with the world. Thank you. Thank you and take care.